Okay. Well, well since, since we in this in this arena, I have a question, mm -hmm. right? So I'm from Cali, and it's a small black population, you know, especially in the Bay Area. And one thing that I noticed, and I don't think I don't know if other people notice this, but I never see gay black men. Uh, I never see like a mixture, like gay white dudes and gay black men. But in my experience, it seems like the gay white men are like super like racist. Or what is your experience with that? Is there any truth to that? Oh, I've heard people, I've heard different people's stories, but not yeah. for me. Okay. The, the gay white men that I encounter, yeah. um, they're amazing to me. That's yeah. just my personal story. I can't speak for anybody else and what they've experienced, mm -hmm. but for me, but I can understand because, for example, even when it comes to Peter Street, the gay area in Atlanta. Peter that, Street? That's that's the gay area now? No, excuse me, Piedmont. Okay. Right. Excuse me, not Peter, Piedmont. Okay. That was a creator for us. That was created for gay white men. Okay. We just happen to, when it comes to black gays, we go and we take over anything, any area. It could be Tarenda City. It could be Magic City. If it come five of us, it's going to be 150 the next day. So we just went to those areas and we took those spaces over. But those areas wasn't created for us. So I can get how other people have had those segregation um, um, stories when it comes to white gay men, but not for me. Okay. They have always been pleasant to me, giving me opportunities that people don't even know behind the scenes. So, no, I can't attest to that from my personal experience. Okay. Cool, cool. And then, um, and then, all right, so moving on to the social mm -hmm. media, right? So, you're famous for jumping in the air and yeah. doing your thing. You no, know but I'm famous for more well, than well, that. <laughs> respectfully, right? Yeah. So, what, what, what brought my attention, because when he was like, yo, the IG, I was like, oh, that's a dude that jumps in the air. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So... We're, Why we're, so many straight men that know that? Like, but, but oh see, my but see, god! This is, this is the thing. It when it's you, it sounds bad. It sounds like somebody's minimizing you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And they're being dismissive of all the other things. You uh -huh. like, like uh, the homie, uh, my co-host for that, another channel. Uh -huh. He did, he pretty much is known for yelling at females. Yeah. And so at first it's like, uh, but that's what people know you for, and it's simple mm -hmm. and it's it's digestible. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be like extra out. You feel uh -huh. me? And it, and uh, so what, so that's dope because the best content is simple. Mm -hmm. And then it is. Wh how did you come up with that? And they say if the wheel's not broken, don't fix it. Is that why you keep keep doing it? Because to me, that's like a form of genius. I'm gonna be real with you because you're you're doing something that we can all do. We can all jump. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you keep Bro, doing do it. Do you see this man vertical? We cannot jump it, like that. And you keep doing it. It's like. It's so simple, it's genius. You know what I mean? Everybody keep telling me that. Yeah. That's so crazy. I think what it is, is when it comes, like I was telling you earlier, and I say this all the time when it comes to black gay men, people see us as, as a monolith. We are not a monolith. We come in different shapes and sizes and forms and views and opinions, and we carry ourselves different. All of us don't think and operate the same way. You have feminine, you have butch, you have masculine. Then you have some black gay men that all of them are not in competition with women. You have a lot of black gay men that pay homage, they love, they support, they respect, and I'm one of them. What? And so for me, it just was a... a, a Thing of endurance to my girls to just allow them to be them because I, my personal experience, I know a lot of people have their own personal experiences, but for me, speaking for my life, it was women who saved me, in particular black women. Growing up, it was black women who defended me. It was black women who taught me how to speak up for myself. I was raised by a black woman. My black friends, Ishana, Jamika, Dasha, just to name a few, those girls would tell me, nah, kick that nigga ass. Nah, talk back to him. Don't allow him to disrespect you like that. So for me, I get so much power from women. I learn, I operate, I walk, I talk from women, and so it's never a competition and so when i started doing that it was just an endurement of paying homage to the women who i learned from who the women who i want to be like i act like i get my femininity from i love them i think they're beautiful and it's just an opportunity for them to just show their confidence and just show what they're working with because it's mm -hmm. never a competition with something that you emulate and you want to be like and you love because you have a lot of gay men that say i don't want to be like a woman within who you want to be like I think it's in, the, in, in denial thing because you learn so much from your mama. That's where we get our femininity from. Well, that, a gay that, man can never tell me, you want to be like me. No, I want to be like my mama. I was wearing my mama fur coats. I was wearing my mama's shoes. I would never want to be like you. I want to be like my mother. And it's okay to pay homage where you get your femininity from and where you get your life experiences from. And that was my situation. And so when it came, when it came down to the walking videos, it was just a form of endurance. Just okay. showing my girls, like, do your thing. Okay. 